to the morning, breaking through the clouds. With the loons singing, echoing their sounds, black and white ensemble, telling of what may. I'll be here to the end of my high day. Crisp on the water, soft in the sand. Rocky on the shallow shore, the critters on the land. The windswept waves are coming, breaking every wave. Yeah, I'll be here to the end of my high day. Yeah, I'll be here to the end of my high day. Welcome to another great season of the Homegrown Hunter. The time has finally come when your host, Steve Elmy, along with Tyrell Gallweiler, are finally able to return to KB Lodge, this time for an archery moose hunt. Traditionally, an archery hunt at KB Lodge would be fully guided by Tom Watson or their head guide, Adam Bluer. But Tom and Adam are busy with other clients at the time of Steve and Ty's arrival. Pre-planned and with some experience hunting in that area, Steve suggests they go out themselves and do their best at calling. Tom had previously recommended the mouth of the river as the best location, as this is where moose are best known to cross. A midday scouting mission on the first day led them to a perfect spot and stock approach on a black bear. Ty. They got a little closer and realized that it was just a two to three year old and opted to pass. just wants to smoke them. <laughs> Considering, should I go back, get my shotgun? <laughs> Homegrown Hunter TV is brought to you by Rackstacker. Canada's leader in big game attractants, Campbellford Chrysler, 
a small town dealer with a huge inventory. Huckabones Equipment, Ottawa Valley's Kubota dealer. Bishop Lake Outdoors, first place trailers. Kent Cartridge Canada, Nature of Design Signs and Graphics, Woodland Mills, and these other fine sponsors. After some discussion at the camp the previous evening, they decided to split up. The head guide, Adam, who was able to break away from his daily grind, would help Tyrell get on his first bull. And to up their odds, Steve would head to a different bay on the lake. following morning, about 400 yards in front of him, a young bull appeared. Quickly putting a move on him, Steve knew he had a daunting task ahead of him. Trying to self-film, move quickly, range, and have a chance to shoot wasn't going to be easy. Meanwhile, two kilometers south of Steve, Ty and Adam are on stand. Do you know why the one line's longer than the other? Because there's more geese on the other side. Can't get any closer than 70 yards. I'm gonna try and keep going out of Stay tuned. Well, I don't know how much it was caught, but I spotted that. I thought it was a cow. It was a young bull when I got up closer to it. Sorry for the shaky footage, but I'm self filming. All I had on was my phone and my rangefinder. But I went down around the corner and came up on this bull. Just a little spiker. It's probably what the guys seen last night when they tried to move in on it. But the paddles that Adam was using were too big. So anyways, I ended up going around the corner. I bet you six, seven hundred yards. I got within 71 yards of them. And I wouldn't have taken the shot unless I got within 55. So I'm going to try and get a hold of Adam. He's down there. Just give him a heads up, he's headed that direction. Oh, I need a break, let's cut the commercial. The Tactic Cam Reveal is the official trail camera of the Rackstacker Elite staff and the Homegrown Hunter TV, because they're reliable. If you want to get into accessories, you can check out rackstacker.ca and get them right across Canada. Holy Jesus, he's a big bull. Welcome back to the Homegrown Hunter TV. Ah. 
This over. Oh. Oh. Oh, this shit is big. He's really big. There's KB Lodge Moose for him. Really, really big. And there's water everywhere I can't get through. Holy smokes, he's big. Yeah, he's still on. Oh! I already went ass deep in the water. There's water all the way around me. Where's the canoe when you need it? Absolute beauty. Did you see the size of that bull? I got the 201 yards. I've been soft cow calling all morning. Had that first yearling come out. Got within 71 yards, but that's all blog and I could cross it and as I went over to them there's a creek that runs down through there and I wish I had a canoe next year I'm definitely carrying a canoe and tomorrow as well oh, I'm out of shape not really out of shape just wound up that is a huge bull KB Lodge right there just that experience alone finishes the hunt for me Twice in one day. That's pretty. That's pretty awesome, man. Apparently, I'm a better better kill caller than I thought. And here, I was concerned that I might be too loud or might not sound like a girl. Apparently, I do. But that's awesome, man. That just made my hunt right there. This bay is now called Steve's Bay. Stay tuned to the home growing hunter. Hopefully, we'll get him back in. I went for a swim. Absolutely covered in muck. I went right up to my waist crossing that creek. <laughs> Closed captioning brought to you by Woodland Mill, a Canadian premier forestry products company.
Thanks, man. Splitting up for the evening. I'm going back after that big bull. We're heading up the, the river to the mouth of the river where they were, those two bulls were headed. So I'll see them in a few hours. Paying attention to the wind direction, Steve opted to stay on the south side of the bay in hopes that the bull would come back out and using the wind to his advantage, he could work his way in for a closer shot. Well, I don't know, man. He's going back into the bush. I don't know how fast he can get here, but I'm going to start putting move on him. Using the wind to his advantage, Steve waited for the bull to move west, into the wind, as he worked his way down the edge of the brush towards it. Thinking about what happened with that morning's hunt, this time he chose to wait and close the distance between them before calling the bull. As opposed to trying to get closer and give away his position, he thought by waiting he would have much better odds pulling it in for a closer look. Using the brush to his advantage and keeping low, he piqued the bull's curiosity with soft calls. And after getting a much closer look at it, Steve has realized this is not the same bull he had encountered that morning. It was a different one, the third bull they had spotted that day. I'm going to chalk this hunt up 
as a unbelievable learning experience for me. To have three bulls in front of me in one day, who wouldn't want that? Who, who wouldn't love that opportunity to be able to go after and pursue your target, especially bull moose, in an area that everybody's trying to hunt? Not only has my calling gotten better, my hunting skills have gotten better. By calling that last bull in that close, I know I'm gotten better. I just, I know it. And it feels good. However, there was times that, during this hunt that I knew that my physical health isn't getting better. So I'm gonna work on that this winter. You bet I'm gonna be going back to KB Lodge. And next time, I'll be touching that arrow off. I'm your host of the Homegrown Hunter TV. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. For past episodes, be sure to check out hghtv.ca. Until next time.